My name is Sarah, and it's life. I've been known by a lot of other names. My true name? As if I would fucking tell you that. <laughs> anyway. I'm telling a story. I'm a lot better at writing down my stories than I am just verbally relaying them, but I don't have time, and my records have been destroyed. So, here we try. The Oracle of Wisdom lived in the first age of man. The Oracle of Wisdom was a divine being of Yushan, or heaven. She was a tree. She was outcast from heaven, or Yushan. Everyone hated her, pretty much. No one knew why. She was chosen of Saturn, chosen of secrets. To know the world is to serve it. To know the world is to fear it. Long story short, I guess I'm going to just cut straight to the end here. The Oracle had to fight. Fight. The Oracle had to confront the blinded sun, a force that was going to destroy the universe by destroying the sun. And it, it was going to work. She was going to do it. The blinded sun was going to kill everything, destroy the entire universe by killing the sun. It was written. And the Oracle knew that the only way this could be undone was by going to confront the blinded sun and basically sacrificing herself. How, you ask? How can one sacrifice make that much of a difference? Well, what ended up happening is she <clears throat> she fused her spirit essence with the blinded sun, which gave the blinded sun the connection to the all life force of the universe, which made her unable to truly want everything to be destroyed. To know what ceasing to exist for all, all creation would be. That insight gave her a glimmer of regret in the end after the sun was slain. And from that regret was born the second age of man. So the oracle walked into the battle knowing that she would no longer exist, that she would be erased as her consciousness melded into that of what was essentially her enemy, but she did it anyway. She gave up everything that she was, everything that she lived for, everything that she learned to preserve your life, your existence. And some people might say she shouldn't have done it. She should have just pursued her goals or whatever, but what's the point of creation without creation? Why do we fight? Why do we sacrifice for each other, for everything, for the all? We give of ourselves to make the universe a better place. And if we're not doing that, then we fucking sure as hell need to get on board. It was never a thought to her whether or not she should do it or if she would do it as soon as she knew she started walking away from her manse of golden leaves away from her home in the pond with beautiful pink flowers she walked straight into the deadlands to confront that which would have erased existence without fear without hesitation and that's how I want you to fight from now on how do you, I want you to fight for your fellow man I want you to fight without fear, without hesitation, completely selflessly. I want you to give up everything that you are for each other. The suffering of one is the suffering of the all. That's a fact. As long as one of us feels pain and one of us has anything holding us back, we are all held back. Not just on this planet, not just in the physical realm, eternally. As all creation was born of nothingness, we are all connected as one. Everything, every dimension, every solar system, every timeline, we are all the same thing. So the next time you see somebody suffering or hurting or struggling, help lift them up. But when you do that, you lift yourself up. And even if you're a selfish piece of shit, that's what you want to do, right? Lift yourself up. So lift up your fellow man. If not for yourself, then for them. And if not for them, then for yourself. But fight without he fear, without hesitation, or you'll have regret. Um, that's my message for today. Thank you.